Depart Foundations. Depart Foundations is a type of foundations that carries the vertical loads from the building through the columns or stump and transfer the loads to the ground through a series of depiles. It basically consists of a pile caps and some numbers of the piles. The piles are normally driven into the soil at a certain required depth until it generates sufficient reactions to the load of the structure. It is normally used for the poor soil conditions where it is uneconomical or not possible to provide adequate spread of the load in terms of the stresses due to the low bearing capacity of the soil. The load mechanisms of a power foundation are the end bearing on the firm soil. In this case, the piles are driven into the soil until it reaches to a layer of firm soil underneath the foundations. Through this, the foundation is technically sitting onto the firm soil. Another type of load resisting mechanism is based on the frictions. This friction refers to the frictions between the soil and the piles. With the adequate length of the piles, Frictional force is generated on the contact surface area between the piles and the soil and this generates resistance to the load acting on the pile foundations. Also, some pile foundations may rely both on this mechanism to resist the vertical load. There are various types of piles which include the precast reinforced pile, pre-stressed concrete piles, cast in situ reinforced concrete pile, timber piles, steel piles, and buckle piles. Each type of pile has their own applicable range in terms of the load carrying capacity as well as their specific limitations. In terms of the power capacity, the safe load of a power is normally determined from the power loading and power formulas. This is a typical power loading test which is known as the static load test. This is the power to be tested which is already driven into the soil. There will be a beam and some weight consists of the concrete blocks. A hydraulic jack system is placed here and the system is connected with a data acquisition system in order to measure the load generated by the hydraulic jack system. The hydraulic jack will push the house downward while the concrete board generate reactions to the force. From there, we are able to determine the power capacity. Alternatively, you may use the power formulas for you to determine the safe load of the power. For the ultimate limit state design, the safe load is divided by a factor of safety of 2 to 3 depending on the type of the piles, such as end bearing or friction power. It is noted that the load capacity of a group of piles is not necessarily the multiple of a single piles. This means that if a pile can sustain 20 tons of loads, a group of 3 piles may not necessarily give you 20 times times 3 which is 60 tons of the load capacity. Often, the total load capacity of the power are considerably less. This needs to be taken into consideration while you are designing a power foundations.